So when I started in the 3D space, I remember wanting to create stunning 3D virtual worlds, but I was always faced with the challenge of needing years of training, um, the software stack that goes with it, and being accompanied by a beautiful team of artists. So these are still true, but today I'm excited about what is coming in with the new wave of innovation, 3D generative AI. It unlocks workflow and the new possibilities for creative expression. And today I'm excited to share with you my top 11 tools that revolutionize 3D data creation. As we move along, I will unfold what is there and you can also download it just down below uh, so that you have the links and everything is much easier for you to navigate. So let's unveil the first one, which is Meshi. You can create stunning 3D models with AI. This is how they describe their service. It's really cool because you have the ability to go text to 3D, but also image to 3D. And you can explore uh, the community creation, for example. And if I click on any of the models, like this little unicorn, you see that you have various ways that you can uh, visualize it like transition with albedo, roughness, normal map, height, how. So it creates all of this extra uh, map on top of your geometry, which is super, super cool. Of course, you have uh, the ability to follow people and to download model. So this is a very cool tool to use one of my favorite ones. Beautiful. Now we can move on to the second one, which is 3D AI Studio. So in here, you can also generate 3D model, but also animation and texture in second. If I click onto um, the demo, you see that you have the ability to generate an image to 3D. And basically, uh, this is the mushroom that I selected and this is the 3D model that I have. Also, same thing, you can do text to 3D. And in that case, uh, I cannot change the prompt, but if you use the tool, you can definitely prompt whatever you want. And here, this is the zombie turtle, five leg. This is really, really cool. This is for me on par with what you have with Meshi, and it's really easy to handle. Um, you have also a community and you can launch the studio from there. Okay, let's unveil the third tool, which is Masterpiece X. In here, you also have the ability to go text to 3D or image to 3D. You don't have any requirement. This runs very easily. And uh, as you can see, you have the ability to have full character, animals, object. So you can specify the context a bit more in the beginning. Again, you also have the ability to export in GLB, FBX or other file format, which is super cool. You can customize uh, and you have an API, right? So these are some of the models that are exported. What is possible to test is to claim the credit and test right away. And now onto the fourth tool, Alpha 3D. It permits to automatically transform your to-do image into 3D digital assets. So this is an image to 3D, mostly uh, encompassing model, but there is also the text to 3D possibility where you have the ability to have simple prompts. And as you can see, these are the kind of model that you export. So they are not as detailed as the solution that we saw before. But again, um, this is mostly free if you use it really uh, tightly. So if this is an example. If you are a designer of shoes, would that be enough for you? I'm not sure. Um, usually this is very good to get a first glimpse at the 3D model. Then you create it, you print it and you do a photogrammetry of your objects. For example, this is the pricing. So as you can see, you can generate already 50 assets. Time for getting onto the fifth tool, Sloyd. Modo is generate 3D models fast with customizable model made by human and assembled and stylized by AI. So this is how they compare to other generative AI tools. In here, normally you should have something which is much more optimized. It's not always the case, but uh, what I really like is that they have also the ability to have a model library. So you have a customization aspect on top of it, like in here where you can edit it. Um, this is very cool. And you have automatic event wrapping, uh, you have level of details and the possibility to export. So this is also a very, very useful tool if you are much more concerned about the quality of your mesh and the optimization of your mesh for um, a BIM application, for example. Then the sixth tool, 
to 3DFY AI. A bit complicated. So 3DFY, I wanted to have it as part of the list. Um, I like their uh, point cloud animation. The thing is they totally changed the way they approach the market and now to try their service you need to contact them. So uh, feel free to contact them to check out exactly how it works. Uh, basically if you click on the technology side of things you will see that they are really close into the other models that we saw. Here this is the interface where you have your prompt you generate and then you can save or download whichever is uh, extracted from your prompt. So this is also very very nice. Um, I will encourage you to ask the team behind that if you are interested in testing that a bit more. And now on to seventh tool Spline. Now Spline is initially a place to design and collaborate in 3D but you have now various product and you see that you have a generative AI section where you have generate 3D models with AI and style transfer both are super cool so if I get in here this is exactly how it stands you type in what you want to have and you will get um, your 3D object so this is a text to 3D right that you have in here this is an all but you also have the ability to push out um, a little like avatar and it will get you into 3D uh, so image to 3D. As far as pricing goes you start for free basically so it's really handy to test if that fits your goal. Know that it's initially not conceived for generative AI uh, but for a lot of other stuff but their generative AI integration is smoothless really. It's time for the 8th revelation Luma AI. Now you may have seen me previously talk about uh, Luma because uh, they were initially into Gaussian splatting, Nerf and creating uh, 3D experiences very easily from a set of pictures which is something I really like. They have a specific tool called Jenny which is basically um, a text to 3D prompt and as you can see these are all the generation that you have. So if I were to type a blue Viper which is a snake and why do I type that you will see in some month um, with a book that is going to come out and you have that and as you can see you have some kind of model that are generated you can choose any of them like this one and you will be able to refine it a bit more right and create an interactive 3d model from there so this is what is happening this is fantastic. This is also free to test early on. So I encourage you to get on that if you want to explore a bit more. And again, you have the possibility to export in various file format. Um, also know that this is one of the tools they have. They have Dream Machine, Interactive Scenes, and they have a lot of other uh, stuff available for you, which is really handy if you also uh, onto photogrammetry or other works um, like this one was a Gaussian splatting experience. And finally, the ninth revelation, Rococo Vision. Rococo is different from all the other ones that we saw because this is a free AI motion capture tool. So basically, if you have, like in this example, two viewpoints from two different cameras, um, this tool will help you grasp your avatar and then on top of him you can basically uh, rig in any 3D model that you would like to have. So this is beautiful. That was a setup that needed thousand and thousand of uh, dollars and a super expensive like studio level for um, video games or for films and now you can do that in your bedroom as illustrated in here. So beautiful. Now um, you have the software, you have the capture tool as well so you can have these elements. We are ready to get up onto the tenth one which is Ponzu. Another tool that I wanted to showcase is Ponzu. So Ponzu is also different from all the other ones because this one focuses on AI generated texture. So you have the ability to change the style of texture that you want and also like if I tap grey stone mountain you will see error generated uh, fail to fetch okay so in this case it does not work but you have the ability to retrieve a texture that will really fit what you are trying to create so this is very interesting and you have the ability to export the the normal map ambient occlusion and a, a lot of various stuff around texture mapping and the final 3d generative ai tool 
So deep motion, this also is one that is a bit different from the other one, and you have two things. You have animate 3D, which is video to 3D animation, and say motion. And now with animate uh, 3D, basically you pass in a video like this one, and it will detect the characters as avatar, so face track, hand track, and multi-person tracking in beta, and it will uh, generate the 3D model. So as you can imagine, this is also super impressive, and it cuts a lot the time, uh, it speeds up your workflow if you are into, um, yeah, entertainment industry. And here you have it, we went through the 11 generative AI tools for 3D. So while here I don't go specifically onto the code aspect of things, this is something I will do in the near future, especially with Python. You have some ways to handle that with uh, NVIDIA releasing stuff, Stability AI and others. So I hope you enjoyed this video. What I can encourage you to do is to take on the favorite from these tools and maybe create something, share it, and I will have a surprise for the one that create the most exotic, let's say, a 3D model out there. See you in the next video.